Hey guys, Ansuman here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'll give you an introduction to stored XSS, and also I'll demonstrate how to perform this attack in BWAP Lab. So let's get started. In stored XSS, whatever code the attacker will inject, it will get stored in the database. And uh, every time, whenever the page will load, the code will get executed. So that uh, whoever will visit the site, then uh, he will get uh, infected by this code. As you can see the example here that in a blogging website, attacker found a vulnerability in the comment section and uh, always the attacker intention is to steal the cookie of the browser so that uh, he will get access to the user's account. As you can see the comment is attached with the javascript code and uh, steal cookie.js javascript file is designed to steal the cookie of the browser and by this comment the attacker will get remote access as this file is hosted in some other site. And uh, with all this, uh, the user will have no idea at all what is happening in the background with this piece of comment. But uh, the attacker will have full access to the user's account. So let's uh, look at some example of uh, stored XSS. As you guys might have seen in my first cross-site scripting video, I had shown you these two examples, MySpace and TweetDeck. And these two are the best examples of uh, stored XSS. And uh, with some piece of JavaScript code, it caused serious damage to both of these websites as uh, once the code is injected and whoever visit that web page then it will get executed again and again so now how to prevent stored XSS attack to prevent any XSS attack web application firewall is the best solution to protect a web application and WAF is an automation tool which is designed by artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to filter specific content of web application and uh, it can prevent attacks from XSS, SQL injection, file inclusion and uh, security misconfiguration. And every time whenever a user will send any request to the web server, first the request will go to the WAF and WAF will filter the request and then the request will get transported to the web server. Same will be applied to the web server also. When the web server will send the response to the user, first the response will go to the WAF, then WAF will filter the response and then it will get transported to the user. So WAF is actually a very powerful tool and uh, you no need to worry about anything else to protect your website because WAF will take care of everything to protect your website. And uh, if you want to know more about WAF then please check out the links in the description below to get more knowledge about this tool. So hope you guys understood stored XSS as of now. So let's move on to our BWAP lab to get hands on experience to this vulnerability. So first we need to choose cross site scripting, store, block and click hack. As you can see here we got one comment box. So let's enter one comment that nice block and click submit. As you can see the comment get posted and uh, this comment uh, it's stored in the database. So now let's enter the payload. So you can see here. With the command, I am injecting the JavaScript code also, and this uh, JavaScript code is a GET request with the query parameter cookie, and uh, document dot cookie will fetch the current browser cookie, and I will fetch this request with the netcat command. So let's start our request. Nc hyphen l nine thousand hyphen b. Now hit enter. So you can see it's waiting for the connection. So now let's uh, submit. So as you can see here, after posting the comment, immediately I receive the connection with the browser cookie. So by this method, the attacker always try to steal the browser cookie. And every time when you load the web page, the code will get executed and it will face the browser cookie. As I've already mentioned, WAF is one process to prevent this attack. And second is always do proper sanitization of special characters. In that way also we can prevent this attack. So that's all for this video. And on my next video, I'll demonstrate some other modules of stored XSS. So if you like today's video, then don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.